Hi, it's Dr. Arif Rajpura here, Director of Public Health for Blackpool. I know it's been a short while since I did one of these uh, updates, but uh, we've got a few important messages to share. So I'll start with COVID-19. And COVID-19, uh, although it's been falling over the, the, the recent days and weeks, um, it hasn't gone away. So in England, currently, as it stands, one in 40 people are known to have uh, COVID-19. So uh, please do your bit to help uh, locally. And in that respect, let's start with vaccinations. We've launched a brand new site recently at the Model Village at Stanley Park, which offers first and second vaccinations boosters, including the seasonal flu jab for all those that, that are eligible. Uh, and COVID vaccines are also available for children aged 5 to 15 at the site. It's a fully accessible site for anyone with mobility difficulties, and there's loads of free parking available. This site is in, in addition to the vaccine bus, which is still going around Blackpool on different days. Our evergreen offer still stands. So it doesn't matter if you haven't had your COVID first jab yet, but want to get it. That's what this service is here for. So you can either go to the uh, the Model Village site or you can go to the vaccine van. Over 50,000 local people have used the mobile vaccination clinic since uh, since it launched. Our friendly teams are here to help and we've had some absolutely great feedback uh, about how easy people have found it. Please take a little time to read the latest info, including upcoming dates, vaccine eligibility and more linked in the supporting post uh, to this video. So in doing our bit to prevent the spread of viruses this winter, as well as being vaccinated, there's other important uh, things we can all do to reduce the spread of COVID and other winter, winter viruses and bugs here in Blackpool. So think about using a face covering, particularly where it's busy and you're indoors. Catch it, pin it, kill it, catching our coughs and sneezes, really important. Good hand hygiene, washing our hands, particularly if we've been out and about, uh, really important. And avoid mixing with others if you've got a temperature or you're feeling unwell. Stay at home, rest. There's a, there's a lot going on in the public health department at the moment. Just a few things to, to, to share with you. Um, Get Vocal is our mental health campaign that we're doing in collaboration with Blackpool Football Club. Um, it's making some great strides at the moment. New sessions have recently been launched, inviting uh, males aged 18 and over to turn up, talk and get it off your chest uh, at our men's social group, Get Vocal. This takes place every Monday between 6 and 8 p.m. Brett and Dan will be in the North Stand uh, Community Hub at Blackpool Football Club to host, talk and listen. Pop along for a brew and, uh, and a chat. We've linked everything you need to know about get vocal in the supporting post there's lots of useful tools and links for people of all ages make sure you check it out um this month uh, the tower will be lit in support of a few really important occasions so the first one to mention is on monday the 21st of november for our world antimicrobial awareness week a campaign to keep our antibiotics working the tower will be shining in blue um aimed at encouraging the responsible use of antimicrobial medicines such as antibiotics so that we can keep these medicines working. As a result of drug resistance, antibiotics and other antimicrobial medicines can become ineffective and infections become increasingly difficult or impossible to treat. So a few things to remember is uh, that antibiotics do not treat or prevent viruses. Research has shown that only 10% of sore throats benefit from antibiotic treatment. So it's really important to talk to your pharmacist about how to treat your symptoms first before going to the GP uh, for antibiotics. It's vital we prevent antibiotics from getting into the environment as well. Always take any unused antibiotics to the pharmacy for, for safe disposal. Don't throw them down the toilet or in the bin. If you are prescribed antibiotics, take them exactly as your doctor prescribed and never share them with others. Also, on Friday the 25th of November, the tower will shine in white in support of White Ribbon. This is a national campaign to end male violence against women. Another really important campaign. And the lighting of the, st of the tower starts 16 days of action around this. See more details about everything I've covered in today's update linked in the supporting post. And please remember those simple but helpful, helpful tips I shared uh, to help keep your autumn and winter period healthy and virus free. Thanks for listening. Uh, take care and I'll see you on the next one.